let's take a look at a couple of problems where we compare the process of decimal addition and the process of decimal multiplication. We're going to add 3.26 plus 14.8. We're also going to multiply those same two numbers. Let's do the addition first of all. I'll recopy 3.26 and then underneath it I want to write the 14.8. I need to be careful to line up my decimal point when I add. So the decimal point for the 14.8 needs to be right below the decimal point for the 3.26. That means the 8 goes below the 2 in the tenths place, and the 14 needs to be written out in front with the 4 below the 3 in the ones place. Notice the 1 sticks out all by itself. If you like, after the 8, you could write a 0. You don't have to, but if it makes it easier for you to work with these two decimals, go ahead and write this 0 in the hundredths place. 14.80 is equal to 14.8. That's the same decimal number. Now I add as if I were working with whole numbers. 6 plus 0 is 6. 8 and 2 is 10. So I write down 0, carry the 1. 3 and 4 is 7, plus 1 is 8. And then I have 1 in front. In my answer, the decimal point goes right in line with my decimal points above. So my answer here is 18.06. Now let's multiply. We're going to multiply 3.26 times 14.8. I'll write down one of the numbers, 3.26. And when you multiply, you don't have to line up the decimal points. I can line up both numbers at their right ends. So when I write times, 14.8, I can write 14.8 just like so. I do not need to line up the decimal points when I multiply. Now let's go ahead and proceed as if we had whole numbers here. 8 times 6 is 48. Write down the 8, carry the 4. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 4 is 20. Write down 0, carry the 2. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 2 is 26. Next, I move over to the 4. 4 times 6 is 24. Write down the 4, carry the 2. By the way, I like to erase the numbers that help me out in the first row when I get to my second row. So when I do 4 times 6 is 24, I like them to be gone, so I can write a 2 here now for the 20. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. Write down a 0, carry the 1. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13. And now I get to my 1. Here, I'll erase these numbers again. 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3. Now I add, just as if I were doing whole number multiplication, 8, 4, 6 and 6 is 12, write down 2, carry the 1, 2 plus 3 plus 2 is 7 plus 1 is 8, 3 plus 1 is 4, and now I need to decide where the decimal point goes in my answer, and that's where the decimals come back into play. What I do is I count up the total number of decimal places to the right of the decimal points. That's one, two, three total. Come down to my answer, start at the right, and I count over one, two, three places from the right and place my decimal point in the answer. So we get 48.248 
is my result. Let's look at a couple more problems where we compare addition of decimals to multiplication of decimals. Here our addition problem is 16 plus 0 0.82 and our multiplication problem will be to multiply those same two numbers. Let's start with the addition. 16 plus 0 0.82. The 16 is a whole number. Any whole number can be written as a decimal. Let me recopy that 16. If I want to write a whole number as a decimal, I need to put the decimal point at the right end of that number, just to the right of the ones place. Then, if I'm going to add 0 0.82, because I'm adding, I need to line up the decimal points. So the 0 goes below the 6, and the 8, 2 sticks out to the right when I add. I have 16 point plus 0 0.82. Now if you'd like, you could write two zeros to the right of the decimal point after the 16. 16.00 16 is equal to 16. And it does make things a little easier to line up here. And now when I add, I just have 0 plus 2 is 2, 0 plus 8 is 8, point, 6 plus 0 is 6, and bring down the 1, I have 16.82. And that's my result to the addition. This addition problem is a lot like adding $16 plus 82 cents. You could think of our result at $16.82. Now let's go ahead and multiply. When I multiply, I don't need to line up the decimal points. I just write one number above the other with the numbers lined up on the right. Also here, with 0 0.82, the 0 in front of the decimal point is unnecessary. So I could just write 0.82 and multiply the numbers written like so. Now let's go ahead and multiply. 2 times 6 is 12. Write down the 2, carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. And now I'll erase that 1 that helped me out. 8 times 6 is 48. Write down the 8, carry the 4. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 4 more is 12. And I'm going to add, I have 2. 3 plus 8 is 11, 1 plus 2 is 3, and a 1 in front. Now I need to decide where to put my decimal point. Since 16 was a whole number, even though we didn't have to write it down, its decimal point was understood to be at the right end of that number. So when I count the total number of decimal places here, I don't get any from the 16. I get just 2 from the 0.82, so in my answer, I start at the right, and I count over two places, put the decimal point between the three and this one, and there's my answer for the multiplication, 13.12.